Hi everyone! So Easter is coming up pretty soon and everywhere I go there's chocolate and chocolate and chocolate. And what is cuter than the lint chocolate bunny and also it tastes very very good. So I decided to try a little painting of that uh, lint chocolate bunny. So of course I had to buy one so that I could take a picture of it. Never mind the free reference pictures I can find online. I just had to do the right thing. But then the challenge started and I had to figure out how to paint that golden foil. So as I was thinking and planning in my head how I would go about doing it, I decided to use an aqua board because it's very forgiving and it's very easy to lift the paint. So I thought this would be great if I had to lift some highlights to make the gold foil very shiny. So I started by uh, saturating the surface with water to make the air bubbles come to the surface because the layer of clay that's on top of that aqua board has uh, a lot of bubbles trapped so I, I have to remove those before I start otherwise there will be bubbles in my paint which is not so good so once it was dry I started with a light layer of yellow ochre and cadmium red for the bow and as I started building the layers I added more and more raw umber to my yellow ochre to work on the shadows. Now when you build layers on the aqua board, you have to be very careful because since it's easy to lift the color of the aqua board, uh, you can only just like go over it once. And if you use your brush and go over it one more time before it's dry, then it's gonna lift up everything. So you have to be super careful and very delicate. But once you figure that out and you're patient and you wait till your layers dry, which is actually pretty quick, I think it's it's faster than on regular paper, then um, you start getting the technique and it gets easier and easier. So once I established all the shadows on my gold foil and I decided that all the colors were good enough, I used a stiffer brush and gently started scrubbing all the highlights, all the folds, and I started building up the texture of the paper. So each time I tried to lift a little bit of paint, I used a tissue to dab on it to remove as much as I could. So that's why you see my left hand always dabbing on the painting as I lift more. Now because all the little highlights ended up being very small, I decided to try to remove the paint with a very fine brush. And it turns out that it, it worked very well, even though the bristles were not as stiff as my regular brush that I use.
when I was done establishing all my highlights I used a mixture of the yellow ochre and burnt umber again and I put an accent right next to all the highlights to show the light shadow of the fold of the paper that's behind the highlight and it made the highlight stand out even more and it gave a stronger texture to the paper. Now for the fun part, I use sepia to draw the details, like the eyes and the little feet, the whiskers and the nose. And I think that was my favorite part of the painting because it made the bunny stand out really well and it made it look a lot more realistic. Now for the bow, I think that was the hardest part for me. I'm not sure why. I think I had a hard time finding the right color. So I mixed a few different reds together and um, I even added some purple for the shadows. And it was actually hard for me to see the details of the bow in the shadows because of the photo that I took. But um, in the end, what I did is that I again used a stiffer brush to create the highlights so that really helped showing more texture and then at the very end in the very dark shadows I use sepia. Also for the shadow of the bunny itself I used again my mixture of the yellow ochre and the raw umber and I added a little bit of neutral tint to gray it down. So all in all, it was a fun project. I really enjoyed doing it. And if you're interested, I'm also going to post a real-time video. I only edited the parts where nothing's going on, but it's just a whole thing. There won't be any commentary because they're kind of here, but you'll be able to see how I do it. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see more often, or you'd just rather watch time-lapse videos. What do you prefer? Uh, it's always helpful to know what the, um, the people who watch those videos, what they like. Um, I'm sure there'll probably be half of you who will like the time lapse better and half of you who like the real time videos better. But I'd like to figure it out so that I can uh, post videos that you actually enjoy. So that's it for today. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you like this little bunny. It was actually very yummy. Yes, I did eat it when I was done. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.